here's something else that's happening this weekend on the island. Lots of sunshine and warm temperatures wherever you are. Let's check in with Astrid live at the Ryder Hegedal Welcome Home Party in Centennial Square. Astrid. It is gorgeous here this evening. We have a light breeze, which is helping people stay cool with these warm temperatures and all this sunshine. Seeing a few clouds on the way for the Victoria area overnight, but really this weekend north to south on the island, absolutely gorgeous. And depending on where you are, you'll head into the high 20s, maybe even into the 30s as far as temperatures go this weekend. Start things off with your live school net weather sensors and get you a, a look at the temperatures right now. 21.7 at Lakewood Elementary, heading on over to Ruth King. 23.6. Beautiful. Hopefully you can have dinner outside tonight or enjoy the outdoors this evening. High pressure dominating our forecast for the next several days. And that ridge right now over the uh, north to central coast area. A bit of a disturbance though that is going to head to the north coast of BC. Really not affecting Vancouver Island. That's how strong this high pressure is. It's going to keep our skies fairly clear. For tonight, if you're around Port Hardy, you'll likely see a bit of fog rolling in. That's been the pattern for the last few nights. 12 degrees overnight. Clear sky and 13 for the east coast of the island. Beautiful through Campbell River, Courtney Comox to Nanaimo. Port Alberni, you're also looking at clear skies at 11 overnight. Fog on the west coast through the Tofino area. And the mid-island is going to be nice and clear for the next couple of nights. Good to see the Perseid meteor shower if you get a chance to stay up late and look for that. 12 degrees tonight with just a few clouds through Greater Victoria. In the downtown area, nice and mild, 10 degrees out towards Souk, 14 overnight through Salt Spring Island. Tomorrow warming up to beautiful 24 degrees in downtown. We are expecting a bit of a breeze near the waterfront, specifically near the Juan de Fuca Strait, so you'll notice that cooling temperatures around the Souk area. UV index 7 or high as we head to the Cowichan Valley. Temperatures to 24 degrees for Saturday through Duncan. 23 in Lake Cowichan, 22 over to Salt Spring. For the Nanaimo area, a beautiful day on the way for you. And it's just going to get warmer as we head a little bit farther uh, to the east, uh, sort of central island area along the east coast for Nanaimo. 27 degrees for you inland, though. In Port Alberni, it's going to be even warmer. To the west coast we go. 30 degrees through Port Alberni tomorrow, and it gets warmer for Sunday as well. You're the hot spot on the island through the Alberni Valley. 20 on the coast through Tofino and Euclid, with mainly cloudy and foggy conditions first thing in the morning, clearing up though around the noon hour. For Courtney Comox, Campbell River, you two are going to see temperatures into the high 20s, 27 for the day tomorrow and beautiful clear skies up around the north end of the island. Any fog that you see overnight is going to uh, stick around for the morning hours, but that will clear up before lunchtime. 19 degrees through Port Hardy, 23 in Sayward. For the rest of BC tomorrow, those temperatures are hot. 23 degrees in Vancouver, 25 through Powell River, sunny skies in Kelowna and Kamloops. Over the next seven days, here's what you can expect. Uh, temperatures get warmer as Sunday approaches. We have uh, temperatures heading to normal, so they dip down slightly Monday, Tuesday in Victoria, up to 27 though on Wednesday, Thursday, and dry, sunny conditions. For the mid-island, you two are going to see a warmer Sunday, 28 degrees for you. Dip down a little bit Monday, Tuesday, and then head right on back up. So a hot day on Wednesday, warm nights overnight Thursday and Friday. And for the north end of the island, you're going to see a partly cloudy skies off and on for the next several days. Temperatures topping out at 21 degrees. And finally tonight, here is your weather watcher and a beautiful photo from Patrick Thompson. Thank you so much for sending this in. Fishing off Sheringham Point, which is near Shirley, just a little bit past Souk. And there's the lighthouse there. It looks like you're going for salmon. Uh, based on your rod and the type of fish that are there at this time of year. Beautiful photo if you'd like to be a weather watcher. Submit your photos, submit your kids' art, show us what Mother Nature is doing in your neck in the woods or how you're enjoying the weather. We like to see that too, and we're certainly doing that here tonight in Centennial Square. Hudson. You're enjoying a calm morning on the water by the looks oh, of that Oh my photo. gosh, I wonder how early he had to get up to actually zip on out there. Well, not Probably too early, early if you love doing that. That's true. Yeah. Ask the thank you, see you at six. Okay.